When you're in the public eye, a lot of pressure is put on you to act a certain way, to present an untarnished image, and to be morally correct in everything you do. However, if you don't abide by the rules of Hollywood, that can quickly spell the end of your career, no matter how much power you hold in the industry. Do people want you out? You're out. So today on Top 10 Beyond the Screen, we're going to be counting down our list of the top 10 actors who ruined their careers in seconds. Let's jump in. Coming in at 10, Randy Quaid. Randy Quaid has had a truly bizarre life that deserves to be turned into a movie. In September 2009, Academy Award nominee Quaid and his wife Evie were arrested for not paying a $10,000 hotel bill. Following the incident, they were arrested again for squatting in a home they used to own. So what did they do? They skipped town and headed north to Canada. However, if you think that's weird, it got much weirder. Everyone assumed Quaid fled from the law, but he claimed they fled to avoid the Hollywood star Whackers, a secret organization that took celebrities out or manufactured scandals to discredit credit them. In an interview with the Vancouver Press, Quaid talked about the mysteries behind the organization, claiming that Heath Ledger, David Carradine and Chris Penn were the group's latest victims. Since then, Quaid was arrested once again and released back in 2015. In February of 2017, Quaid posted a video on Twitter which showed him displaying a full mountain man beard, pretending to get it on with his wife while she was wearing a Rupert Murdoch mask. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on here. Coming in at 9, Wesley Snipes. Snipes was a major player back in the day, starring in films like White Men Can't Jump, Julie Newmar, and of course the Blade trilogy. Things were looking pretty good for Snipes until he failed to pay his taxes. Yeah, that's a big no-no. Usually if you're a Hollywood icon, you pay back your taxes plus some fines. However, not Snipes, no. His tax offenses were so bad that he went to jail, serving a year in the slammer for each year he failed to pay which was three. On top of that, he had to pay back 17 million in taxes and penalties, which completely put a stop on his thriving career. Lesson number one, pay your taxes, people. Coming in at eight, Paul Rubens. We all remember the bow-tied man-child Pee Wee Herman, right? The one that coined the phrase, I know you are, but what am I? I think anyway, don't quote me on that. Regardless, Paul Rubens became a fan favorite back in the 80s and into the 90s. However, this all changed drastically for him overnight when he was arrested in Florida for indecent exposure at an adult movie theater, with sheriffs claiming they spotted him masturbating during the film. The actor was 38 at the time and pleaded no contest, agreeing to take part in an anti-drug campaign to avoid trial. He attempted to come back, but that also blew up in his face when more charges were brought against him, this time related to child pornography. Officers seized thousands of items, including a Rob Lowe sex tape that was in his collection. It took a decade before he was welcomed back into the public eye, which he did surprisingly well, starring in the Netflix film Pee Wee's Big Holiday. What do you guys think? Do you think he deserved a second chance? I don't. Coming in at seven, Brendan Fraser. Brendan Fraser is a name most of us forgot about, and seemingly so did Hollywood. You won't find this actor appearing in much of anything anymore, at least nothing of merit. Frasier shot to fame when he appeared as Rick O'Connell in the Mummy trilogy, a series which came to define him as an actor. He struck gold again in 2008 when he landed the leading role in the 3D fantasy Journey to the Center of the Earth, a worldwide box office success that made $242 million. However, things quickly went downhill for the actor when he made the very poor decision to turn down the role in the sequel, which ultimately went to Dwayne The Rock Johnson. With the film going on to surpass the original, Ray in $335 million. His poor decision seemed to draw the end of his career. I'm sure he's having major regrets these days. Coming in at six, Jennifer Grey. Jennifer Grey was an 80s darling, starring in films like Dirty Dancing and Ferris Bueller's Day Off. However, she quickly vanished from the spotlight and failed to book any major roles following her success. Why was this? Well, if you didn't know, Grey was known for her nose, but as her career began to grow in the 90s, she got a nose job, which left her looking completely different, made casting her that much harder because people simply didn't recognize her. Grey once said, I quote, It was the nose job from hell. I'll always be this once famous actress nobody recognizes because of a nose job. Coming in at five, Rob Lowe. As mentioned in our number eight point, St. Elmo's fire star Rob Lowe had a sex tape. That's right, it was the first video of a celebrity having sex to be copied and sold at large around the world. But to make things worse, the video was of him having sex with a 16 year old girl, which resulted in his career taking a serious nosedive. According According to reports, Lowe was in Atlanta at the 1988 Democratic Convention when he took home two girls after meeting them in a nightclub, unaware that one was just 16 years old. However, the actor escaped prosecution as the legal age of consent in Georgia is just 16. He took yet another blow though when a second clip was leaked, showing him and a friend having sex with a woman at the same time.
same time. However, it didn't seem to negatively affect the actor too much as he went on to star in Wayne's World and Parks and Recreation. Lucky for some, I guess. Coming in at four, Michael Richards. Seinfeld is considered to be one of the greatest television shows of all time. To most people, that is. Not me. I didn't like it. Michael Richards, of course, was one of the stars of the show. However, his long running career was quickly met by a brick wall when he did a live show in 2006 that resulted in him engaging in a battle of wits with a member of the audience. In a split second decision, he destroyed his entire career by responding to the man with a series of racial slurs, demanding that the African American customer be thrown out. A video surfaced of the incident, which showed Richards stop midway through his show and tell the audience member, I quote, 50 years ago, they'd have you hanging upside down with a fing fork up your ass. The audience was, of course, just as shocked as we were, and the comedian left the stage without finishing his routine. Since then, he has made a handful of small appearances, but he has been unable to land any major roles in the industry. Coming in at three, Mark Salling. Glee's Noah Puckerman was a fan favorite among viewers back in the day, but that all came quickly crumbling away from the actor when he was arrested in LA in December 2015 for charges related to child pornography. According to investigators, they found a laptop, USB drive, and a hard drive filled with thousands of pictures and videos of child pornography, with the ages of children ranging from 5 years old to 12. The actor was set to star in the miniseries Adi Shankar's Gods and Secrets, but was very quickly dropped when news broke, with the producer saying in a statement, I quote, The innocence of our planet's children is something that must be protected at all costs. Saling eventually agreed to a plea deal. However, before his sentencing, he hanged himself in a canyon near his LA home and was found dead on January 30th, 2018. Coming in at 2, Kevin Spacey. Oh, Kevin Spacey. Yet another person on our list that has become a Hollywood disgrace after reports of sexual misconduct and assault were brought against him. In October 2017, actor Anthony Rapp accused Spacey of making sexual advances towards him. Rapp was just 14 years old at the time. Once this surfaced, many other men came forward with similar stories, all of which accused Spacey Spacey of harassment and assault. In 2018, Spacey was charged with indecent assault and battery against an 18 year old boy, and he was ultimately arrested. At the time, Kevin Spacey was starring in the film All the Money in the World. However, when these allegations came to light, his scenes were entirely reshot with the actor Christopher Plummer in his place. F you, Kevin Spacey. Oh, and on top of that, he used being gay as an excuse. F you, Kevin Spacey. And finally, in at number one, Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby was a legend back in the day, starring in the mega hit TV series The Cosby Show. However, the facade all came crashing down when several sexual assault allegations against the star became public, with the allegations spanning from the 1960s to the early 2000s. Although most of the cases fell outside of the statute of limitations, several lawsuits were filed against the actor, drawing the end of his prolific career. 25 colleges and universities rescinded Cosby's honorary degrees, and Walt Disney removed a statue of him from their Academy of Television, Arts and Science. Science's Hall of Fame Plaza. All episodes of The Cosby Show were pulled and clips were removed from TV Land's website. Even his talent agency ditched him. Deservedly so. This guy is an utter d and doesn't deserve any more attention than that. Well, there we have it. You guys agree with our list? Were there any actors that we missed? Leave us all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below and perhaps we can do a part two. If you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss another Beyond the Screen vid. And until next time, see you later.